you guys the lord put this word on my heart about you you gotta give it up now what am i talking about give what up well whatever god has required you to let go of it's a specific reason why he's called you to let go of this thing and you need to understand that you may never know if you don't ask so if you haven't been asking now's the time but i want you guys to understand that what's coming this famine the judgment that is coming you always want to be on the right side of the lord okay and definitely keep your heart posture towards god keep your nose in the good book okay it is wise to fast during a famine and we know how this can bring issues to your life but it's wise to do so and turn to your brothers and sisters in christ for assistance okay depend on your fellowship get ready for the last days y'all we don't have long it's wise to study the prof the prophetic word in revelation and that's where we are right now a lot of prophecy that has come out of revelation has already came true and there's only a matter of time for the lord to come down on his white horse okay god has made a promise okay he has made this promise to us he's made this promise and to those who are faithful to him and those who are keeping his statutes and his laws those whose name is written in the book of life they will be covered from famine okay now in matthew 4 jesus was traveling to the city of zebulun and naphtali now in this we understand that it was a fulfillment it was a fulfillment of what the prophet isaiah had written about years ago he says Listen, lands of Zebulun and Naphtali, lands along the road to the sea and across the Jordan. Listen, Galilee of the Galilee, the land of the Gentiles. Although your people live in darkness, they will see a bright light. Although they live in the shadow of death, a light will shine on them. And you guys, the light always overcomes the darkness. The gates of darkness never prevailed over the light as we already know to be true. And then Jesus shined on them. And um, he says, although they live in the shadow of death, our light will shine on them. And then Jesus started preaching, turn back to God. The kingdom of heaven will soon be here. That is where we at right now, you guys. We have to come back to God. He is calling us back in Jesus name. I pray you receive this word. Job 5, 19 through 23. He shall deliver thee in six troubles, yea, in seven there shall be no evil touch thee. In famine, in famine he shall redeem thee from death, and in war from the power of the sword. Thou shalt be hid from the scourge of the tongue, neither shalt thou be afraid of destruction when it cometh. At destruction and famine thou shalt laugh, neither shalt thou be afraid of the beast or of the earth. For thou shalt be in league with the stones of the field. And the beasts of the field shall be at peace with thee. Isn't that great? The Lord promises to keep us. And I also want to bring it true. Uh, bring it to you guys' understanding. I hate this computer. It's so horrible. And I also caught a nosebleed at this time when the Lord was giving this word to me. And he reminded me of how he gave me the same nosebleed when I was hearing about Hurricane Katrina. The Lord is very specific and he's clear if you can hear him, if you can pick up on his words. He's very clear. And if you don't know how to communicate with him, now is the best time. Ask him for details. He gives us all that we need. Okay. And I want you guys to also pay attention to Matthew 9 verse 29. Because of your faith, it will happen. And know that. The verse says, he touched their eyes and said, become what you believe. So whatever you have prayed for, know that you have received it in prayer. In Jesus' name, amen.